Hey Smasher fam, Mark and Jermaine here for the next quarterfinal round. We have the 12.75 inch Ronnie Salcedo Easton Empire. This is a two piece with a half ounce end load. Retails for $209.99. What do you got there, Jermaine? This is the Suncoast Melee Red, as you guys can see, 12 inch half ounce end load. It's a two piece and this bat is, what is the retail for? $249.99. And it comes with a 60 day warranty from Suncoast. Uh, both of these bats in their initial rounds tested really, really well. The Melee actually tested second best of any bat we've tested so far with an average exit velocity in the 97s. And this two piece finished in the 96s. So really not too far off from that Melee. Uh, gonna go ahead, put them up against each other in this round here. Melee's first. Then the Empire. Comment below how well you think this bat performed. And is it going to beat the Empire? Comment below. Yeah. And I want to thank all you people who are watching right now. It's been a fun series so far. Um, and you guys have been great and all the positive responses. So again, comment below how well you think this bat performed. Is it going to do 94, 95? Um, is it going to do 93? And then also uh, comment below which bat you think is going to win. All right. So enough talking, let's jump into this. First bat, first swing, I mean, first swing, ready. 94. Six. Ninety six again. Ninety eight. Ninety-six. Consistent. One hundred. Ninety-five. Such an easy fill. Such an easy fill. 99. Three more. 98. Ninety-eight again. Last one, money ball. Money ball. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> one hundred. There we go. One hundred club. Sun Coast Melee, twelve inch. One hundred club. All right, guys, another super consistent round out of that Sun Coast. Finished with an average of 97 miles an hour. It hit 100 twice during that round. One of those was omitted, and its lowest exit velocity was 93. So again, super consistent. Gonna go ahead and hit that 12.75 inch Ronnie Salcedo Easton Empire. See what that can do, and then uh, go from there. All right, coming at you. <laughs> We got round one. Let's see how well this baby performs. Comment below right now. All right, here we go. Ninety-six. Ninety-eight. 
Not bad, right out of the gate. 93. 99. Ooh. Ninety-six. Ninety-three. Ninety-three. Let's get that baby up higher. Eighty-seven. Miss. Chopped it. Ninety-two. Five. Three more. Ninety six. Ninety. Ninety-two. That's it for round one. All right, guys. Twelve swings with the Eastern Empire in round one. Highest at exit velocity was ninety-nine. Its lowest was an eighty-seven. Those were omitted. Its remaining ten were an average of ninety-three point six. So super consistent round. Most of them were, uh, you know, in the low to mid nineties. Gonna go ahead and uh, re-hit this Empire and then see how it compares against the red two-piece melee. All right. Round two, took like a five, 10 minute break. So round two, ready to, uh, to get going with this. Come on, man, let's do this. Ninety-four. Ninety six. Ninety-one. Ninety-six. Playing pepper with myself against the wall. Ninety-four. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Ninety-four. Two more.
95. Ninety-six. That's it for round two. Okay, so just finished round two with the Eastern Empire. Finished with an average on round two of 95.6. Its lowest exit velocity was a 91, and its highest was a 98, which it actually did twice. Another super consistent round out of that Empire. Uh, overall average for both rounds, 94.6. So the melee has a pretty commanding lead. It's really going to have to fall apart, basically explode on itself in this next round in order for it to lose. But we're going to go ahead, hit it anyway, and see what the results are. All right, coming up. All you Melee fans, stand up. Round two. Let's go. Seven. Seven. That ball had life. Yeah, it did. Ninety-three. Ninety-six. Ninety-four. Ninety-nine. Ooh. Three more. Ninety-six. Ninety-three. Last one, money ball. Ninety-nine. Wow. All right, guys, just got done hitting the final round for the Sun Coast. And before we pick the winner, both bats performed extremely well in the quarterfinals. Again, a reminder that Easton Empire finished with an average exit velocity of 94.6. That's the Ronnie Salcedo Easton Empire 12.75 inch barrel, two piece with a half ounce end load. But, but, the winner of this matchup goes to the red Suncoast Melee 12 inch with an average exit velocity over both rounds of 96.15 so first round was a 97 its second round was a 95.3 but extremely consistent 93s 96s hit 99 twice one of those was omitted its lowest for lowest exit velocity of its second round was 93 actually its lowest exit velocity for both rounds was a 93 so really really super consistent performance out of that sun coast Suncoast is be get, going to be going up against the 13-inch Easton Empire One Piece, which has been our hottest bat we've tested in this entire tournament. So that's a matchup I'm really looking forward to next week. Me too. That's going to be a, a really, really something you're going to want to tune in for. So uh, Suncoast is moving on, and we'll see you next week with those matchups.